So by now all of you have pre-ordered or picked up or damn near even reviewed your Galaxy S10. We just getting ours on launch day. Uh, big shout out to T-Mobile for making this happen. Because the combination of the hardware and the new One UI software, you can really, really customize it and really make it your own without even going to the third party stuff. So we want to dive into our current setup and show you tips on how you can get yours set up like this as well. For starters, I started off by replacing the Samsung weather widget with the Google at a glance widget from the Pixel series. It's actually built in. You don't have to download anything. Long press the, the home screen, go into widgets, Google widget. It should be five of them. It should be the first one. You know, you get that and then you can, you know, quick access to your date, weather and calendar events. So, you know, that could free up some room if you like a tight, concise homepage like I do. Uh, next up, you have the notification shade. You get three pages of quick settings to start off straight out the box. So, so if you want to adjust and swap things out, uh, you just hit the three dots, you know, pull down notif notification shade, hit the three dots and go to button order and then just long press and then drag and move and move stuff out and move stuff in to your liking. Then we have the brightness slider. When you originally get it out the box, the brightness slider is all the way at the bottom. So if you want to change that and put it up top, pull the notification screen down all the way to the bottom. On the right hand side of the brightness slider, there's you know down facing arrow, you tap that, and there should be a toggle to say show, show control on top. You hit that, hit done, and then you should be good to go to do that. So the good community over at Reddit been compiling a couple, you know, several images that works with the hole punch front facing camera. So you got choices from Bender, Futurama, Darth Vader, R2D2, Homer Simpson. Uh, Winnie the Pooh, Mickey Mouse, Cat Dog, uh, Cyclops from X-Men, and a bunch of other ones. And I think the list is growing. I haven't been on there in a few days. We'll make sure to add the link in the description below. Now the home screen. So the new One UI icons are huge. They're they're massively huge. They're like, if you remember the old Google launch were huge. They're really big. So I like to put five five icons in a row. To do that, you can just long press the home screen. I'll go to home screen settings, and then from there. Go to home screen grid natively at four by five. You could put it by four by six. I have it mine's at five by five. And then also with the app screen, the icons are huge as well. In that same place, you can just go to app screen grid and then do the same. The Bixby button. Bixby button is back and I'm not using it. So you can actually remap the button without having to you know download or do anything, do any hacks or anything. You just go to settings, go to advanced features. Go to Bixby key, select double press to open Bixby, hit the tap, use single press to remap it. I use the Google app to, cause I use actually use the discovery page a lot, but you can't pick up a third party app uh, on the Play Store. I think some are free, some are paid for, We you actually use it to launch the Google Assistant. The display settings. So out of the box, screen resolution, at least for the S10, S10 Plus, I'm not sure about the 10E. It's about mid-level, it's not as maximum you know, resolution. So they have it at FHD Plus at 2280 by 1080. You definitely want to crank it up to WQHD plus 3040 by 1440 resolution. And then also you have screen mode, it's just two, natural and vivid. And you know, at this point, I think we're all used to, or, you know, kind of expect the Samsung to have that vivid pop. For me, I'm going vivid, but when you choose that option, you can also control the white balance to make colors warmer or uh, cooler you know, more yellow, more blue, depending on how you like it, as well as change the RGB levels. So that's just how I took advantage of native customization on, on the S10 uh, without without resorting to third-party launchers and such, which is, there's nothing wrong with it, but there's just a lot you can do straight out the box. This is how we hooked ours up. Let us know how you hooked yours up. Uh, let us know if there's any tips that I may, may have missed. Sound off in the comments below. Stay tuned for more S10 coverage. Thanks for watching. Could be anywhere in the world, but you're here with us. We appreciate you for doing so and see you in the next video. Peace.